From Delaware's premier television company comes a new and exciting website, Delaware28.com. On Delaware28.com, you can check on the latest updates on all your favorite shows. Around town, city scene, cook to order, product knowledge, and the Tim Call Show. And now you can also enjoy our live feed feature where you too can become a star. So don't delay and get on your computer today and check Delaware28.com. Delaware's premier television programming is now your premier website. Welcome back. Before we left for commercial, we talked about who was the first driver in the NHRA to break into 300 mile an hour barrier. It was actually Kenny Bernstein. Kenny Bernstein in the, in the Budweiser Dragster was the first guy to break the 300 mile an hour barrier at 301.70 miles per hour. And that was on May 20th in 1992. I did look at my cheat sheet. I thank you for watching crazyforcars.com. Be sure to check the website. If you've got an idea for a trivia question, or if you've got an idea for the show, tune in to, on your internet to crazyforcars.com. That's www.crazy, the number four, cars with a Z, dot com. Let us know what you think of the show. Let us know what you want to see the show do. We're going to be looking for you online. We've got another Mopar to look at. I've got the owner here. And before we started, he told me how long he's had this car, but I'm going to let him tell the story. What's your name? Gene Welsey. Where are you from, Gene? Uh, Waterfleet, New York. Now, you said you've had this car for a little while. Yeah, I bought it in 1976 for $500. And you told me it was going to be, we would tell the wife we're going to fix it up and sell it. Yeah, I told the wife, yep, buy it, buy it we'll fix it up a little bit, and then and we'll sell it and make a profit. And Yeah, that never happened. Well, you did, you did the first part. You fixed it up. This is a great looking car. Thank you. Now, we talked before about the Fast Series, the factory appearing stock tire class, and this is running on the old stock Goodyear bias plies. Right, you got to run the bias plies, you got to run the wheels the same, you got to run manifolds, casting number correct, heads, intake manifolds, carburetors, everything's got to be look stock. And it, this car does look really stock. I asked him if, if when we early started looking at it, if this was originally an AAR, and it actually is. Right, yep, the original AAR. So we don't want to cut it up too much. No, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely not. And a lot of guys see these as worth too much money to even drive, we were saying earlier, to a cruise night, and you're here threshing it down the quarter. Yep, we ran uh, 1170 so far the best, and 1183 today, so it's right there. 1170s, 1180s, that's fantastic. Good small block ain't too bad. <laughs> well, now it says it says up on, the, up on the air cleaner, six barrel, for our viewers that don't know what that is, why don't you explain to them about, a little bit about this 340 and what that six barrel means? Well, it's a 340 cubic inch, started out life as. It's uh, about 402 cubic inch now. The three, uh, the six barrel is three two barrel Holley carburetors. They're uh, factory rated at 350 on the center one, 500 on the end ones. And I think to total combined flow is probably around 1100. Now you mentioned something there and just what you said about the cubic inches used to be 340. One of the things that they do allow is internal modifications on the engine. Internal modifications, you can uh, bore it, stroke it. The only blocks you can use are ones that are, you can be bored only to factory max specs, which would be 40 uh, thousandths over spec. What I did was I bought a factory replacement block, just cleaned up the bores, four inch bore, four inch stroke. Okay, so that's, so, th so they appear factory, but like inside, this is kind of like maybe what the cheats were back in, back in the late 60s and 70s when these cars were new. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's only got mild compression. It's not nothing. You can drive it on the street. I drove it 30 miles to a race one time, so. Well, thank you very much, Gene, for talking to us today. We appreciate it for bringing it out and showing it to us. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. We're looking at a, we're looking at a Corvette here. Now, this one obviously doesn't fall into the factory appearing stock tire class that we were looking at earlier, but this is back over in the car show. I've got Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, tell us a little bit about your Corvette. Okay, it's a 1965. Um, it's got the hard top on it. Uh, we obviously made a few changes to it. Uh, it actually has a little 358 sprint car motor in it now. When I walked up, you were wiping it off. You said you're getting off all the winter, winter dust and that sort of thing. This black it just looks fantastic. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but this, the, the paint on this car is gorgeous. 
Uh, a lot of uh, time in the garage, kind of rubbing it out. And now, the motor also, the motor's obviously not stock anymore either. No, sir. Tell us a little bit about that sprinkler motor. Uh, it's uh, 358 cubic again. Um, yeah, it sounds healthy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, but we actually took the stock 327 out about six or seven years ago and, and put this little uh, 358 in it. Uh, dynoed at 564, 500 foot pounds of torque. Oh, so it's definitely very healthy. Now, we're, I, I'm looking at the interior. Those aren't the uh, factory 65 seats either. Now, the interior, the, the seats are about the only thing which really changed in there. Uh, a couple of bolt in gauges. Other than that, it's stock interior, or pretty close. It's a, it's a great car now. It looks like we've got we've got some slicks on the back. Have you ever run the car? No, just a couple of white knuckle rides around the, around the block and down the street. Okay, a little bit of like wink wink, not on the street of course, but no. street racing. No. <laughs> okay. Well, Kevin, thank you very much for bringing it out today. Thanks for talking to us about it. Thank Thanks for talking over top of the drag racing that's going on behind us. I'm going to talk about where we're going to be in the next couple of weeks. I got my calendar here. May 4th, we're going to be at the Chesdale Restaurant. That's just outside of Middletown, down on Route 1 and Route 13 South, just south of the St. George's Bridge. June 1st, we're going to be on the riverfront in Wilmington, Delaware, at the Riverfront Camaro Show. If you've got any questions, look for the guy. His name's Carl. He's got a fantastic looking Camaro. You'll, you'll know it when you see it. June 28th is the Make-A-Wish Corvette Rally. We're going to be shooting this Corvette Rally. It's for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. We're going to be starting over in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and it's going to be a long caravan of Corvettes. They're expecting about 300 cars, and it'll just be a long line of cars, just, just police-escorted Corvettes. That should be a really neat thing. And July 19th is Diverse Concepts Show. We're going to make, we're going to make sure we go down to them. Diverse Concepts is the club that saw off our opening, our opening show this season. My voice is just about gone. We've been hollering over top of all the drag racing all day. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching crazyforcars.com. Be sure to check out the website, crazyforcars.com. Go on, there's great forums. Tell us what you're looking for. Tell us where you're gonna be. Make sure you see the events that we're gonna be at. Thanks a lot.